We're great grandparents, grandparents, and parents. What do you think so far? I love it. Are you, what I, didn't the Lord say populate the earth or something like that? It's from generation to generation. Yeah, you wanted more than four, but that's all I could take. Four yep. boys. Mm -hmm. That's when the Lord, I knew, had a sense of humor when he gave me four boys that were just like you. Either that or lots of testosterone, one or the other. The issue, I guess, at this current time is what you've been calling your psychotic nerve. <laughs> now, Miss Kay, remember this. Psychotic deals with the head, head problems. What, what you want to say instead of psychotic when you tell people that, because they all look and say, I wonder what that is. You tell them it's sciatic nerve. See, sciatic is on one end, the old rump. Psychotic is on the other end. So but I'm the, telling you, the you, pain You got it close, just one more little letter, one little O or an I, sciatic nerve, psychotic, it's close. But no, I'm it. right. Huh? Because the pain's so bad from the rear end that it makes your head want to feel like you're just going crazy. It so may. it is combined. Yeah, that, is that what you meant by psychotic? But you'll scare people, you tell them my psychotic nerve is acting up again. They're like, oh my goodness, what happened to your brain? You're like, no, no. It's my butt, not my brain. Oh. It's called common sense. And you were the one that said King Arthur. You said, I thought he was a, a real person. I said, well, I'm not sure. I was on the impression he was. And you said, well, it says here he was a mythical character. And I said, mythical. I well, said, that's what I thought Spell it said. He said, well, M-E-D-I-V. I said, no, medieval, medieval person. That's the difference in mythical person. The M's are right, but you just lost a couple. M-E something. See, they were really close. If you just glanced at them, anybody could make that mistake. I just make it more often. Mm -hmm. Remember, the next time you tell people something on your leg, and and I heard you talking on the phone, said, well, they're doing an autopsy. They take a, they took a sample, and they're doing an autopsy on my leg. And I'm like, Miss Kay, I don't believe they're gonna do it. Did it die? Did the, did the leg die on you? She said, no, it didn't die. They just took a little, little piece of mold and they're doing an autopsy on that. I said, no, that's a biopsy. I said, you know, that's a, take a little piece of meat and check it out to see if, then then I heard you tell them, you said, well, they gave me some nitroglycerin. First it died, now they're gonna blow it off your body. Well, I mean, it was liquid nitrogen, but those are just a, just a tongue slip away from being what I was talking about. Yeah, you get close, you get in the neighborhood, it just, uh, you change a few letters and it just comes out. Well, I've been doing that ever since I've been in school. Well, so you know, if you're gonna be like old Norm Crosby, he made a living at butchering the English language. He made big bucks at that. You can do that, just act natural. Now, I know, I don't do that on purpose. I thought those words were right. Remember the time when I told you it was so old, it was absolute? Yep, you said, that thing is almost absolute. I said, absolute? I said, you got a little letter out of place there. Obsolete, oh, that's right, yeah. Well, letter here, letter there, they'll figure it out. I like well, a woman, I, I like it. a woman that butchers the English language, you know what I'm saying? It adds a little color to the program. Well, I'm glad you do. I like a man that says what he thinks and thinks what he says. Hey. Reckon that'd be you? Yeah, I think that he means what he says and says what he means. Well, that's, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> He says what he thinks and he thinks what he says. Close enough. Like I say. <laughs> yeah, you said it back and then it got funny. I've been running with you so long, Miss Kay, I'm used to it, so it doesn't bother me one bit. I'm glad you made it or minored or whatever you did in English. You've made a fine old lady, old woman. Well, I'm not boring and I, I am not mean. You could pass right now for mid 50s, not 70. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Know you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll cook you Remember something. Remember what I told you that time? Enough. I said, Miss Kay, you said, well, you, I, I'm getting old. I said, you still look like you're about 16 to me. She was like, oh my goodness. And the other time you told me I look ravishing. Remember yep, that? Ravishing, yep. Well, it's been a pretty good run. We got the grandkids lined out. Well, I, we haven't got them all lined out. We got a few to go. I got to work on yep. some, but, but none they're ever. looking good. But they really are. I'm proud of them. I feel I pretty really good about am. it. But see, the, 
They Good don't work, even Kay. have to be smart, and I'm proud of them. Well, I married it. Miss Kay, trust me when I tell you this. Under no circumstances, if you die on me, will I come up with some little long-legged young thing. I'm not going to go through that ever. Phil, you told me that when I was in the hospital, and they thought I might be dying, and you gave me that information. I wanted to give you a comforting thought on your way out. I just you said, don't look, run it I that will not remarry. Don't worry about it. And they said, hey, get back out of the way. And the nurses said, that's a crude thing to say. I'm not. I said, I'm just giving a word. Oh, yeah, well, me. that probably pulled me through. Pulled me through that <laughs> hey, disease. I'm you sure made it, it was. through there, you know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. That was the least of my worries at that time. <laughs> In fact, if I'd have had a skillet, I'd probably bop you yeah. one. Don't pass on me now, honey, but if you do, remember, I will not remarry one of these young things. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just stay the course. Do you want me to say the same thing about you, for I you? I would just add that in. <laughs>